In today's video, we are going to embroider on these Port Authority, okay, Port Authority polo shirts. These are very nice shirts, especially to work with. Okay, very comfortable. And these are the ones that are always highly recommended. Okay, we are actually going to embroider this design, the United States Marine Corps signed the same one onto the left chest of this polo shirt. Okay, and we are, of course, going to use our Mighty Hoop 5.5. All right, perfect for logos on polo shirts. Okay, we have some accessories here. I don't use it as much as I used to, okay? The more practice and the more experience you get with these uh, left chest logos, the easier it is, okay? But I'll show you some tricks that I use if you wanna be 100% sure to get that center point, okay? And just random stuff that I always carry around. Okay, water soluble pin. And for backing, we have this eight by eight cutaway. It's a specialty backing. Okay, it's used primarily. This is a uh, web. It actually goes in a diagonal. Okay, it doesn't go from left to right, up and down. It goes in a diagonal just so you could get a good good foundation okay so these port authority the ones we have here they're kind of in between your very thick pk heavyweight polos and in between your golf the very light thin type polo shirts all right so this one's kind of like the middle ground very popular okay very popular to work with and very popular with business casual type events and of course we're using the Mighty Hoop, the stand, okay? Cause you are going to see how easy it is just to snap, snap everything into place. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's, um, let's kind of discuss how we're going to center this design on the polo shirt. Okay, let's go ahead and mark our polo shirt. Okay, so there's some fundamentals on this polo shirt, okay? So what we wanna do, we wanna have it in between top to bottom here which looks here which connects kind of to the bottom button okay so that's halfway here to here halfway okay we also want to be in between seven and a half okay so you want to be in between seven and a half to nine inches down now you could use this to kind of give you an idea of where that kind of sits at okay so that starts from zero here it's okay so if we go all the way seven kind of half or eight we have a circular design here okay so we kind of want to be in this area here on the x axis okay we want to be about four to six inches out okay so four to six if you line this up Okay, it'll tell you, here's zero, one, two, three, four, okay? So we wanna be in between here. Now, whatever you do, you do not wanna lean towards the sleeve because what's gonna happen is when somebody wears the shirt, okay, you don't want that design to hang low next to their arm, okay? So even though usually they say four to six inches, you don't wanna go in the deep end on the six inches, okay? That's just there as a safety, okay? But typically you wanna stay within the four, all right? So, as you can tell, we're kinda of like here, ballpark figure, okay? That's, I'll use this just to kinda of give me a rough idea to do some general measurements, okay? This one here, Ideally, it's used to, uh, you're supposed to line this up here, okay, with the button, okay, and if this is a large, you would put large here, 
So let's kind of see what that gives us. Okay, so you put large here, large here. So we could actually go with this large, okay? But if you have a smaller design, okay? If we have a smaller design, kind of a boxed one, then you might wanna go with the smaller medium size, okay? In this situation, we have a circle, two and a half inches in circumference, okay? So it's actually gonna fit pretty good here. All right, so now that we have our two lines, what you can do, okay? And the more practice you have with this, the less lines you have to make, all right? But if you wanna be 100% sure when you're doing your designs, okay? You could also have a reference here, okay? Your line should be straight. Once you see you're straight there, just mark your line. Okay. You can also use your uh, ruler that you get with your mighty hoops, okay? Because this is gonna run parallel. Okay, if you want this line right here. Okay, that's your parallel line right there. If you wanna measure it, we're just a little above four inches. Okay, on the X axis and on the Y. We're about eight inches. Okay, so we are good to go. Let's go ahead and hoop it up. Okay, and we're going to use our two pieces of backing cutaway. Okay, this is the performance cutaway specifically for polo shirts and thinner type polo shirts okay so make sure you get the eight inches okay because if you get the seven inches it's gonna be kind of loose here and you don't want to risk it with anything being loose okay you always want your cutaway and everything else to be nice and firm nice and tight now we are simply going to slide our shirt, okay, right over. I can move our hoop a little to the side. So let's go ahead and move it from 26 to 27. Okay, we're at 27. Okay, bam, this is perfect where we wanna be, okay? You can tell, you can first eye it and make sure that you're straight here with the buttons, okay? But no matter what, we're still going to use our lines once we have it lined up. Okay, so this is like the preparation here kind of already see that our line should be good okay so once you feel that your shirt is good to go all we're gonna do is just snap this and okay that's all it was okay so line here line here okay if you want to make sure you're good you could just put this here okay you could see we are hooped in center and we are ready to take it to the machine okay so before we put it onto the machine just want to show you how flat and how clean this backing should look okay so we know it's being held on all sides perfectly okay that way we know there's no unnecessary shifting or anything Okay, we are perfectly centered. Check this out. So on the Ricoma, I'm using the, the Hoop C. That's 130 millimeters. Okay, perfect for this 5.5 .5 
mighty hoop. Okay, 130 millimeters is about five inches. Okay, so it works out perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and let's sew this out. Okay, our stitching is complete. Now let's take off our hoop. Okay, so this part off, and as you can see, we are perfectly straight. Our design, nice and clean, nice and flat. We used a 65.9 needle with a 60 weight thread to give us this nice detail. So let's get the GoPro and let's zoom in a little. Okay, look at that, perfect. Okay, clean, clean, clean. All right, so this was digitized by Vitor Digitizing. And of course, I'll put all the info down below. Okay, now with a sponge, these lines will come off. But also, with this tie pin, Okay, comes off easy also. All right, so let me just show you. All right, that just comes off like magic. Okay. Usually I have it flat, but just so you could see it on the camera. Okay, just comes off nice and easy. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Look at this. Okay. This looks very, very clean. Okay, I haven't even touched it yet. Usually you have to do some adjustments. Okay, if you have any loose threads or anything, but in this situation, we are good to go. Okay. All right, thank you for joining us today. Like always, make sure you hit that like and you subscribe, all right? Peace out.